building a solid foundation of savings through gold and silver. Let's get into why this is so important right now. Hello everyone, welcome back. SB here with another video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for stopping by. Really do appreciate it, guys. It means a lot to see you guys commenting down below. I love responding to your comments. No matter if they're good or bad, I will respond either way. And just remember, guys, there are troll accounts. There are fake accounts out there that are starting to enter the precious metals realm. Be careful. I will never, ever tell you to call me ever, 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 ever. Never will tell you to call me. So just remember that. All right. Now let's get into this video about building a solid foundation for your savings. And that's the way that I treat gold and silver It's a solid foundation of savings. Now, if I want to make more income, I do not invest theoretically in silver. The only reason why I would call this an investment is because basically you're investing in your savings. That is it. That is the only reason why I personally stack gold and silver. That's it. Silver is essentially my hedge for my gold and gold is my ultimate store of value simply because gold is very, very valuable, right? So you can store a lot of uh, your income inside of gold in a small, narrow pouch, right? So silver, it's a little bit more bulky. Silver is there in case I need it for an emergency or whatever the case. But building a solid foundation in gold and silver, I think is important. I know a lot of people, they'll, they're going to come on the here and they're going to troll and they're going to say, you shouldn't buy silver. You shouldn't. You should just get away from it. Get out of it. I, I just don't believe in that. I, I do believe in holding some silver. OK, and I know if you're watching this video, it's important to you now. Am I mostly a gold bull now? Yes, I will have to admit that. But that is fine. That's OK. Now, building a solid foundation, which is probably why you are here. Now, you can go about this in several ways, guys, several ways. Uh, for me personally, I live in the United States of America and most of my foundation is the American Silver Eagles. And the reason for that is because when I first started stacking, these things were dirt cheap. You could get them for two to three dollars over spot. So naturally, I loaded up on them. I got as many as I could. OK, and that is the 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 foundation that I've I've built my silver stack. Now, as far as gold um, here in the United States, obviously, it's the American Gold Eagles, American Gold Buffaloes and Canadian Maples. The Libertads, they're just it's more of a collector thing now for me is uh, so I, I just I stay away from it. I stay clear. Now, as far as collecting gold, I do not I do not collect gold. OK, I do not buy the specialty stuff unless I can get it for a bullion price. That's just the way that I like to do it. Now, as far as silver, I don't mind uh, spending a little extra premium on silver. Uh, it's, it's, a little, it's a lot cheaper than missing on the gold. Right. So therefore, I will buy things that I do like, things that uh, are flashy beautiful stuff like that. I will do that. Now, for the most part, I do buy the American Silver Eagles, but man, I got to get me some more of those RCM bars as soon as I can locate them. Uh, I definitely need more of those. Now, in the past, I have bought things that I do regret. I will admit that. And like these right here, I don't regret buying them. I just wish I would have put this extra extra into my Silver Eagles or Maples or, or things like that. More bullion grade. Uh, I, I just wish I would have done so like like these intaglio mint. I, I just wish I would have put that extra money into more of my foundational stack, if you will, because in the long run, that's what it's all about. It's about storing value. Uh, the, the collector side is, is is something that I have been fighting my whole life because, number one, I started out as a collector. So. Really, I had a whole bunch of money stored up inside of just collector pieces. So I really don't want to go down that rabbit hole. And I know a lot of you guys, well, you're interested in the bullion side. And uh, that's why you're here buying things like this. Right now, they may seem like a huge mistake. And you never know. They could be. They may not be. I know 
I bought last year, I bought this year, and so far everything has worked out. I haven't been burned yet, so hopefully things will keep going the way that they've been going, and I'll continue to stack the way that I like to stack. Mostly, since I've built my solid silver foundation, I will hold off buying a bunch of things like silver eagles just because of the fact that the premiums are outrageous. But if if I'm going to gripe about the premiums, then really, why am I buying collectible things? Well, I'll buy collector things here and there just to keep it fresh, just to keep it simple, just to keep it exciting, right? Because buying silver eagles or generic rounds or junk silver, it can get mind numbing, right? It can just, you just get burnt out on it over time. So spicing it up, buying things here and there that you do like, that you, that you, you know, that you're going to keep. That's the main goal, right? Is to get things that you like, things that you're going to hold. Because this is a savings account and you want to make sure that you're going to hold on to it, right? Just in case something does pop up that you're going to be in trouble. And that's what silver is for me. Now, buying gold, man. Ooh. I do like buying gold. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Uh, it takes a lot of patience, okay? Especially for me because I am a blue collar worker. So it it. I can't buy as much gold as I need as I want. It's just expensive. So it takes a lot of patience to do so. So therefore, I either have to come up with ways to put more income towards gold if I would really want to stack gold. So that's what I've been doing. I've been actually uh, flipping here or there as far as silver. And I've also been flipping some crypto. I've, I've actually uh, done pretty well with that. And Going forward, I'll continue to do that. That's what's helping me buy more gold, which is the, the bigger store of value. Now, I do have side hustles where I do odds and end jobs, and, and it really supplements my stacking ability. Now, having kids in college and you know trying to make other investments outside of silver and gold, that is my primary focus as of right now. I do have a solid foundation. And building that has taken time. It's taken a couple of years to, to accumulate. A lot of people think that, well, man, you got a lot of gold or you got a lot of silver. I don't. I don't have a ton of it. I'm not going to tell you exactly how much I do have. I, I just don't want to do those types of videos. I don't want that type of spotlight. But I do have a nice solid foundation. And it takes time to build that solid foundation. You're not going to do it overnight. So don't go crazy buying your precious metals with credit cards okay don't do that okay figure out a budget get in that budget man and just make your solid price solid uh pickups from there and a, another another thing that i could tell you to do is find a local lcs i know some of you guys are, are remote or you don't have a lot of population around you and i get that not everybody has that lcs that they can depend on but, you know, inside this community, there are valued members who actually do sell and uh, maybe not on YouTube, but they, they they have pretty good prices. So if you go probably over to Instagram, I know there are several places out there that, that do um, they do sell. They do live streams there. And, and I would steer you in that direction if you do not have a LCS because. Man, that, is, that sucks that you guys, you don't have that valuable resource because a good LCS, they can point you in the right direction. And uh, if you are looking to get into gold and silver, guys, just remember, man, it's not a race. It's not a race. All this is is a savings account, okay? It's not a get rich quick scheme. Remember that, okay? I keep seeing those videos pop up, getting rich with silver, getting rich with gold. Don't focus on that. Focus on creating a solid foundation, a solid base. Whether you're from Europe, whether you're from Australia, wherever, build that solid foundation with, you know, say you're in Australia, Perth Mint coins, right? I love the Perth Mint. The quality is top notch. You will not have better quality than the Perth Mint. I do not own much Perth Mint stuff outside the kangaroos that milk spot those things are epic the the kookaburros epic emus swans all that stuff beautiful silver will it tone over time yes 
absolutely. But so far, so good as far as the milk spotting stuff. None of my stuff is milk spotting from the Perth Mint, okay? Outside of the kangaroos. Remember that. American Silver Eagles, they milk spot, okay? The Can new Canadian Maples 2018 and up, I have not witnessed any milk spotting from them. The RCM bars, a lot of you guys, you don't like the queen on your silver. RCM, 4 nines fine. No queen on the 10-ounce on the bars. Great way to stack. In the gold version, you don't like the queen? Fine. The RCM bars in the gold version, no queen on there. Okay, so there are options out there. Building a solid foundation with gold and silver, there's tons of ways to do it. Tons of ways. If you're in the junk silver, that's your thing. That's your jam. I get it. Uh, it's not for me right now. The, the prices are too high. So I do not stack junk silver. Now, if silver was to ever crash again, yeah, that's a different story. But until then, I'll stick with what I like and what works best for me in my region. And that's the way that I stack. All right. That's going to do it for today, guys. Appreciate you watching this video. Keep grinding on your stack.